guys, it's Yadi, and today I am here with another video. I think I'm gonna do this whole 12 days of December thing. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. I've never done this before. I've never done this dramatic look, and I think I kind of look kind of good, kind of fun, kind of fresh. Like, ooh, look at my Elsa braid. Mm. This is a green smoky eye that I was dreaming about and I have these colors in my ColourPop palette that I've been gravitating to but very, very scared and nervous to touch but I touched them today. So if you want to see me recreate my dream eye look, continue watching. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, Alright, so I'm going to start off by priming my eyes with this NYX Full Coverage Concealer using my Milani Concealer Brush. And I'm using this because it reminds me of like the MAC Paint Pot that everyone is obsessing about. But you know, girl needs to save some coin, especially this holiday. So I'm just going to use some NYX. Now that I've concealed my eyes, I'm going to set it with the same eyeshadow that I will be using. I'll be applying Tiger Paper in my crease. Now these ColourPop shadows are pressed pigments, so you kind of have to work with them and build as you go. This is a really pretty mustard color, if I do say so myself, because I did say so myself. Alright, now I'm going to focus this color right here called Bel Air. I'm going to focus that color in my crease again, but going a little bit lower than tiger paper. That way it just gives it more dimension and it creates more of a like brown transition shade. I'm using windshield motion wiper motion sensor motion. Now I'm going to go in with this green shade called Team Captain and I'm going to focus Team Captain all over my eyelid since we are going for this kind of green smoky eye look. And I'm just using tapping motions with this one. I don't want to go too crazy. So we're just packing on that shadow. This is a really pretty green, like for a really pretty green smoky eye color. Okay, color pop, let's get it. I'm gonna go back with Bel Air and just blend out these two colors. Just clean it up a little bit, you know. Now I'm gonna go ahead and blend some more Tiger Paper on top of Bel Air. And I am going a little bit above my brow bone because my eye socket sinks and it's like, I don't know if you can tell, but my eye sinks and it eats my crease. That sounds gross as heck. Now I do want to make this a little bit darker so I'm going to grab another Morphe brush and I'm going to grab this color right here and it is Cloud 9. And I'm just going to focus this brown color on the outer V of my eye. Now yeah, I'm going to bring it up on the crease a little bit just to add a little bit more definition to it. But really, really, really focusing it, cleaning up the edge on the outside of my eye right here. Oh, ooh, it kind of looks good from far away. Like if I'm looking at myself like this and I close my eyes, it looks perfect. And now for the inner corner of my eye, I am going to go ahead and use Tiki, which is this yellow, bright yellow. Bro, look at my bags. And yes, they are a designer. Mm -hmm. I want my inner corner to like pop, lock, and drop it. A little bit so I'm going to add now in Zen which gives off like a gold reflective kind of sheen to it trying not to take away from the yellow just kind of accentuate it but I'm doing a very 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 bad job at it I mean it's not all that bad you know for like beginners look it's kind of okay I'm gonna add some of that Now and Zen on my brow bone. I realized I should have used this type of brush for my inner corner, but hey, you live and you learn and you make the same mistakes twice. All right, and I just finished my look with some eyeliner and cheap eyelashes, cause let's get it. Whoa, that was a pigeon. All right, if you've watched this far, give it a thumbs up. If you like this look, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if I did okay. This is my first like 
tutorial and I went kind of like dramatic, very dramatic. I don't really use these colors. I don't do dramatic colors, like not even for my wedding. I did a brown, light brown smoky eye for my wedding. So this is probably the most intense eyeshadow I've ever used. Give me some words of encouragement. Let's empower each other. That was gross. I don't know why I did that, but... <laughs> Why do I keep on doing that? I don't know. Why? If you like the content that you're watching, don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below with whatever you want. Some encouraging words, some empowerment, because you know this world needs some, some empowerment for all. Not just women, men, children, kids, grandmas, grandpas. Everyone needs to empower each other. And with that being said, I will see you guys later with another video. Bye!